Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? It's Brian from Cliffside Outfitters. I'm glad you could join us again today. Uh, today is going to be a special video. Uh, what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you uh, how to improve your fishing 100%. It's going to work. Uh, you know, it's not the only way, but it will definitely give you an edge and uh, especially crappy fishing, but it also works for bass and catfish. Not only is it gonna improve your fishing, uh, but it's gonna, it's gonna improve the pond, lake, reservoir, river, whatever, wherever you fish. Uh, it's gonna improve the habitat for the fish. What I'm talking about is we're gonna go out and we're gonna sink some brush. Uh, crappy condo, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we're going to sink some brush piles. And uh, used to, more people uh, did what we're going to do today. And consequently, I think the lakes and rivers and reservoirs in my area were better. Uh, through the use of modern electronics, uh, it's easier for you to find brush. But the brush is not always located in the ideal uh, place and but you know less people are, are doing what we're going to do so I encourage you after you watch the video and you see how easy it is it's not really that hard uh, to get out and create you some brush piles that you can fish uh, so hang around with us today and I'll show you just how easy it is now let's talk about uh, sinking this brush for a minute First of all, always check your local laws and regulations uh, to make sure that it's legal in the reservoir uh, that you're doing it in. Also, remember that you can't go out on just anybody's property and cut down vegetation to make a brush pile. What I like to use most of the time, uh, especially if I'm on a lake uh, where I don't know anybody, don't know any property owners, uh, I'll always use something that's already fallen in the lake. I just sort of relocate it uh, because the brush piles and the, you know you can't hardly go to a reservoir where there's not a lot of, of down timber and brush. It's just not always an ideal location. So with that being said, just make sure that you you keep everything on the up and up. Now, the first step to sinking a brush pile, we don't want to go out and just randomly sink brush. Uh, and you can do that, and that will work. Uh, but out of the, all the brush piles that you sink over a period of time, there's going to be some of those brush piles uh, that are more effective than others. So what I like to do is I like to start out by giving it a little bit of thought and thinking about where I want to put a brush pile. Uh, because if I put it on the edge of a creek channel or on a point, a uh, certain depth of water, then it's going to benefit my fishing that particular time of the year when the fish are using those locations. So what I'm going to do today uh, the, the brush pile that I'm getting ready to sink is going to be on the edge of a flat. I've got a main river channel that comes down through this lake. And then there's a little uh, side tributary that runs into the lake. Between those two, 
there's a, a point and it's really not that steep of a point it's more like a flat but it makes a point where the two where the two channels meet it's about 19 or 20 foot of water that will be utilized in the winter uh, the fall summertime uh, not so much you know near the spawn because this is going to be two 250 feet off the shoreline uh, so without further ado let's go out and take a look at, at what we're going to do yeah it's better get out all right so let's take a look so see down if you look up that way there is our main river channel coming down through there and then if you look back over here you see our tributary that's coming into it and uh, there's a little bit of a point out here so, but if you look right back over here you can imagine that where that river channel comes down through there and this tributary comes in here that there's going to be an underwater point uh, that goes up to a big flat because this side of the river is fairly shallow and then on that side of the river well actually out in the middle sort of it's deep so but right out in here is where we're going to put our brush pile so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to use my depth finder to find the location and then i'll mark it and we'll go from there Now you can see on there that there's a, some bait around here, and that's a good sign. All right, so I found I found my drop off, and y'all seen it there. Come across the depth finder, and I am at the location where I want my brush pile at. The next step, if you look right here. See that thing right there? That's a marker buoy. We're getting ready to chunk it out of the back of the boat. Okay, so we got our location marked. We know where we're going to put the brush pile. We got a marker buoy sitting there and it's waiting on us. Now, let's go find some brush. Here's a tip for you guys. Uh, this works if you don't even have a depth finder. Um, if you line up two stationary objects on the shoreline and uh, put them in line with each other, go out to the middle of the lake. I'm going to try to describe what I'm talking about. Go out in the middle of the lake and take two trees, one close to you and one far away, and line them up together. Or a building, or a, uh, a power line, power pole. Uh, whatever, whatever you can find that, say that power pole lines up with the ridge line of that house, whatever. But line those two things up and start heading toward the shoreline. And say you want to, you put brush at 20 foot. So you line those two objects up and then you head toward the shoreline till you find 20 foot and then you drop your marker buoy. You can continually, as long as those two objects stay there, you can line those two objects up and come right to back to that brush pile uh, without having a depth finder or any kind of sonar. All right, guys, let me show you uh, just exactly what we have here. This right here is a bag of rock. I've used rocks, I've used sand, sand's ideal, uh, especially if you've got a new boat and you don't want to scratch it up, sand works wonderfully. Uh, we've also, like I told you before, we've used cinder blocks and, and uh, stuff like that, but this right here is just a little bit easier to manage, uh, especially when it's sand, it's, it's, 
it don't beat and bang up and scratch your boat. Uh, this right here is rocks. So we got to be a little more careful with it. But what I've done, this bag is actually a sand bag. You can go to any of your hardware stores uh, or your home improvement stores, and you can buy sandbags. Retail, if you buy them one at a time, uh, the most I've ever paid is 50 cent a piece. So basically, this brush pile, I'm not going to be buying bucket, I'm not going to be buying concrete. Uh, I'm going to have 50 cent in this brush pile, and I'm going to show you uh, how we hook this up and uh, how we put it in the water. All right, guys. I see my first limb that I want to harvest. I don't. I don't cut down whole trees, uh, and the reason I don't is because it's just too difficult. They're too difficult to handle. What I'm gonna do? Uh, I see some river birch over here, and it's growing out in the lake, so it's already part of the lake. And uh, so I'm gonna harvest a few limbs off of it to build a brush pile. Guys, you can use a handsaw for this, but I just happen to have one of these uh, cordless saws on, and it makes it a little bit easier for me. So if you got one of them, make sure you take it with you. We got our limb on our willow right here. Now let's just go ahead and get the boat started. Let me go ahead and cut it off. Makes quick work of it right there. Let me get off the bank. Okay. I've got a rope right here, handy, that I'm going to tie around this piece of birch. a little bit and I'm gonna just tie it off to my boat cleat for now. Let's see if we can't find another. Right there's another pretty good limb. That's going to be the two that we use now. The next thing that I do uh, that makes it easy, and you don't have to do this, you can take uh, just a piece of rope and tie it to your limb. But what I'm going to do, just because I have access to it, We'll get out in the corner of the There again, I'm trying to make this just as easy as I can. Alright, so I've got my piece of brush here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take me a drill bit and my cordless drill. And I'm going to drill me a hole in this piece of brush. I'm going to do every one that I plan on sinking, I'm going to do just like that right there. Get that hole cleaned out, and that's what I'm going to run my rope through. 
And that way I know it's not going to slip off. All right, now, I've got a short piece of rope. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put that rope through these holes I've drilled in these limbs. I'll just have to bear with me just a minute. There's one. What I'm going to use today for my brush pile, we got them tied together, just like that. And I want to make sure that they stay tied, just like that. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work these around to the back of the boat. So here's what we got. We got our limbs and they're tied together. And we got those two limbs tied off to our sandbag. Now what we're going to do, real easy, we're going to go back out to the location where we decided that we wanted to sink this brush to start with. See a marker buoy out here anywhere? Oh, I see it. It's up there. I'm gonna put this tree on the bottom of the lake right there. You boys know where it's at. <laughs> Y'all catching any fish? You catching any? How are you? You crappy fishing? How are you? All right, guys. So we've made it back to uh, to our marker buoy where we decided we want to put this brush pile. And uh, so I'm going to turn the camera around and let you watch it go out of sight. All right, let's get it untied. All right, here we go, guys. That easy. All right. All right, guys. Well, we got our uh, brush piles sunk. Uh, got uh, three brush piles in today. And uh, it took me about, mm, well, probably between moving around and everything, about three hours uh, to sink uh, the brush that I wanted to sink today. And I'm getting ready to take it to the house. Uh, but before I go, I want to talk to you about something. Um, I fish on public reservoirs. And uh, so anything that's in the lake is property of the public. So when you come out here, and no doubt this is going to happen, I don't want you to get upset when you find somebody a fish in your brush pile. They're going to find them, uh, especially with today's electronics. Uh, they're going to find your brush pile. Uh, and, and you're going to tend to be discouraged or upset. Well, somebody's on my brush pile. Well, somebody's on the brush pile that's in the lake. Once that brush pile left my boat, it's no longer property of mine. It's, it's property of the public. So don't get discouraged. Uh, and the way I combat that is make sure that you have multiple brush piles to fish. Uh, it's highly unlikely if you've got 10 or 15 or even 20 brush piles, uh, there's probably zero chance that you're going to come out here 
and not have somewhere to fish. Uh, so get out there. Uh, like I said, you can do this. Uh, it's cheap. It's inexpensive. And uh, it'll pay dividends in the future. I guarantee you. Uh, so until next time, this is Brian with Cliffside Outfitters. Y'all have a good day.